Tell We're going to get right into it. Yeah, yeah, I want I want to get right into it. All right. You want to tell them the story or you want me to tell them the story? Uh, I can say the story because I did it. Okay, so, go, go. Uh, let's hear your perspective. I'm going to say okay, my perspective okay. after. Go. So it was a normal Saturday morning, right? Yeah. My girl's over and um, we're, we're about to leave the place, right? Mm -hmm. So I go, I mean, I wake up and she's like, she's already awake. So she's like. Oh, I'll make you guys, I'll make you breakfast. You want eggs? I'm like, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll take some eggs. Normal ass shit, right? Yeah, yeah. So, so apparently, he, she cooks the eggs and we eat them. Mm. This guy, Carlos, <laughs> calls me and he's like, bro, did you eat that egg? I'm like, wait, what? Why? Well, like, what's the problem? He's like, bro, I was doing an egg class. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. So I'm going to put you guys up to speed. So check this out. For the past, like, I want to say month, I've been feeling some negative energy. You know what I mean? Yeah, some, yeah. It's definitely not my energy because mm -hmm. I know myself. I know what's around me and shit. So I'm like, you know, it's, it's, it's about that time. Yeah, yeah. Because I did an egg cleanse last year. Yeah, you've been doing bear. I did it last year, last year. No, I used to do it like, I do it like once every year. Uh -huh. It's because I seen it on TikTok one time and my aunt was talking about it, how like a lot of Spanish cultures, they do it. Mm -hmm. So... I did one. So I did two. Okay, okay. Okay. Now, the story Gavin's referring to is would have been my third egg cleanse. Yeah. Now, check this out. <laughs> but I hate it. I was putting all my negative energy into this one egg every single morning for, I want to say, like, at least three days. Mm. I took it. I was, like, putting the negative energy, like, putting that shit in the, in the egg, really feeling it. Yeah. And I put it back in the carton. I put it back in the carton, telling myself, like, okay, I can't eat that egg because that's all the negative <laughs> energy. But I keep it in the carton because I don't know where else I'm going to keep an egg. I'm not just going to keep it like flat. It's going to roll over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The carton is the perfect container. Mm. Little did I know, Gavin would take from my egg carton. Bro, so I walk I walk into the, in the condo. Yeah. This is after the weekend, bro. Uh -huh. I'm ready to cook breakfast. I open the fridge. I'm like, holy shit. Yeah. The carton's not there. Uh -huh. And I just realized... Gavin and his girl bro. ate the egg that I was putting all of that negative energy into. Bro, when you no, it, that's the thing. That's the uh, what do you call it? Downside of living with Carlos. If you touch any of his <laughs> shit, it, you don't know if like if I turn that light on, like he put bad energy. <laughs> like, it's all around. It's just energy. all karma, fam. Yeah, like, like you can't, you can't. You have to be careful. Still. Yeah, you have to be careful. And it was crazy too. So um, it was me and my girl who ate the egg, right? Mm -hmm. And. Uh, this was on Saturday. Yeah. Sunday we had church, right? Mm -hmm. But I was telling you that time period when um right before going to church, we don't fight like at all. Mm. But during that time period, we were fighting over the stupidest shit. That's like crazy. it was just bad energy. And then after we went to church, yeah, like it was gone. So I'm like, it was out of nowhere. So it you, was out of nowhere. So it, it probably was from that yeah. Area. Because we don't we don't fight around uh, about like small little things. It was about small little things, and yeah. we don't we don't do that. So there was definitely something up with that egg, but that's just so joke. So do you think, hold on, do you think it's real? Because what are the odds though? What are the odds that yeah. that you just happened to to eat my egg that day, fam? Mm -hmm. Cause we, me and Gavin, even though we share a fridge, like we don't really we eat don't each touch, other. Yeah, we don't, yeah, yeah, we don't eat each other's food. Facts. Like there's, there's we know like it's, it's, yeah, it's like it just so happened that <laughs> one time I'm actually doing something with my food <laughs> where it's important that? you don't touch it. First of all, man's touch it. First of all, if you're if you're doing an egg cleanse, at least warn me. First of all, yo, I don't want to scare nobody. <laughs> also, I'm not supposed to be telling man's like, oh, I'm oh. doing this shit. Like, okay, okay, because man's aren't supposed to be involved, you know. But at least like, like who puts a bad egg back in the carton, bro? Like leave it but, in your room. But it's like it's like it's like that's my stuff. You know what I mean? Like. Uh -huh. For all I know, I could have I could have rubbed it on my butt and put it back there. You know what I mean? Yeah. You should, that's my stuff. Like you should have touched that it. You should have touched it. That is. <laughs> that was on y'all like, for touching it, fam. That's like one in a million though, because having a roommate that does all this shit—that's <laughs> what it comes with. All right, so check this out. Yeah. So, the first time I did the egg cleanse, okay. like earlier in the week, mm -hmm. this shit scared me. Oh fuck! What happened? Because my experience with the first two egg cleanses, mm -hmm. dog. Some stuff went down, bro. Fuck. So, what went down? So first, I did it. I did it just regularly, right? You're supposed to like spray the egg with alcohol, do prayers over it, and then rub it all over yourself and just like put the negative energy into it. Okay. Leave like all of the 
it's supposed to take out hexes. Yeah. It's supposed to take out bad karma, anything that just drags you down. Mm -hmm. So that's what you put into the egg. Yeah. Now you're supposed to break it and then put it into a glass of water. Okay. Now, the first time I did it, they say you're supposed to look for pins, like spikes going up from the egg inside the water. Oh, shit. And you're supposed to look for shapes and bubbles because the bubbles and the shapes have different meanings. Mm. So the first meaning is the pins. Now, if you see pins in your egg cleanse, yeah. that means people have hatred towards you. Oh, okay. Like people don't like you succeeding. They don't like you doing things. Yeah. That's just the hatred is the pins, right? Okay, okay. Now the bubbles, that's the evil eye. So that's like the jealousy. Mm -hmm. That's like people looking at you funny. All of those things, like they, they, in the same sense, like they don't want you to succeed. Yeah. And the third one, when I did my last egg cleanse, like. This one? Last year. Oh, okay. okay. When I did it last year, I saw like a skull in it. Holy shit. And you're supposed man. to see like faces. Supposedly, yeah. you see the face of whoever's like putting a hex on you. That's so crazy. That's, That's so crazy. <laughs> That's fucked. But I didn't see, I didn't specifically see like somebody's face, but I okay. seen like shapes in it, but I specifically saw the pins. Mm -hmm. But the first time I did it, the same day, yeah. I didn't see a bubble, like the evil eye. Okay. So I did it. I felt better. And you're supposed to flush it down the toilet. You're supposed to put like pepper. I saw and salt. Like, you're supposed to yeah, put salt. Yeah, salt, pepper, and like spices onto it. It's supposed to like kill the, the negative energy. Yeah, That's yeah. why in Japan, they put like salt everywhere mm, when there's ghosts, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, for sure. Now, you're supposed to not look at the toilet and then like flush it down the toilet and then send it off. Yeah. So it's like return to sender. So whoever's giving you that negative energy mm -hmm. is going to go back to them, okay. right? Yeah. Now, after I was done the egg cleanse, something kind of told me like, yo, just do it again. Mm. and it, it was really like calling me like yo go do it yeah because i already felt better but like like do it one more time so i'm okay Damn. so i did it again okay and this time when i did the egg cleanse i didn't see no pins and needles what you see it was clear right because i just did one mm -hmm. so obviously it makes sense You're like blessed, yeah. because it cleansed right but this time i saw big bubbles whoa what does that like, mean and and even in the corner, like many, many bubbles. Yeah. So the bubbles, like I said, that represents like the evil eye. Like that's the actual, like the mata. Oh, so you had lots of evil eyes. Evil eye. On you. Yeah. Oh, fuck them. And then, so that's when I, I had to put all the spices and shit. And what's crazy <laughs> is because the first time I did it, right? Mm -hmm. The cup, it had the pins and needles. This time it was clear. It was just like the yolk at the bottom. Nah. There was only bubbles on the top this time, just the bubbles. But the other one didn't have bubbles. Oh shit! So it like it like correlated like yo, you cleanse this part, you have to cleanse this part now. And oh. then, so this is where it gets fucked. Man. Yeah, what this is where it gets fuck? scared. You're gonna get scared, bro. Okay. Let me so hear. you put the spices. Mm -hmm. I flush it in the toilet. I don't look right. Yeah. Put it away. I'm like boom. Okay, I feel better right away. I felt better. Yeah. And I started putting things away. So one of the things I had to use was the alcohol, like the rubbing alcohol. Uh -huh. I took it and I put it in my, my cabinet, you know, my, my mirror cabinet. Okay. And you know how my cabinet, it's all, it's all glass. Yeah. Like each like shelving is glass. Okay. Literally 0 0.5 seconds, bro. 0 0.5 seconds after I flushed it, I took the alcohol to put it back on the thing. Yeah. Keep in mind the glass that's hard to take off no. the cabinet fam it's not easily taken off i placed it on the top you're lying it fell you're lying it you're cracked lying. hold on and it cut me and you're i started lying. bleeding you're lying and i started bleeding so in that moment i was fucking shocked yeah i'm like holy shit what did i just do because the, the glass just broke i'm bleeding now and then like my arms literally poor look you can see the scar right there yeah oh my like it was way worse before but no, no, there's it was, no way. It was, it was kind of deep of a cut, fam, because it's glass. Now, check this out. Uh -huh. So I was scared as shit. I'm like, oh, fuck, did I do some, some next witchcraft to harm myself? Mm -hmm. So I, I researched. Yeah. And the thing that came up was that anytime glass breaks after, like, a ritual, you know, in a wedding, they, sometimes they break glass on yeah, purpose. Yeah, like Mazel Tov? Yeah. The glass breaking... The spiritual significance to it, uh -huh. I've read online and I researched about it. It means evil spirits leaving your house. 
No so way. in that moment, when I did the egg cleanse yeah. and the glass broke and it cut me, evil spirits were leaving the house. What the fuck? In, the, in our condo? Yeah, fam. Or maybe just even me, just leaving me in general. No, no, the condo. The condo. <laughs> Make sure it's the condo. Yeah, fam. But like, you know what I mean? It's leaving. Yo, that's fun. <laughs> that's so crazy. Hold on, I'm not done, right? So, yeah. so then I'm like, okay, wh what's the significance meaning of blood? Mm -hmm. What does the bleeding mean, right? Yeah. So- I, I researched into the blood. Why, why, why was I bleeding after this mm -hmm. ritual? And it says the blood, it's supposed to represent like your protection. Because in the Bible, it says like Jesus bled for us. Mm -hmm. He sacrificed himself for us. Yeah. So the blood is a reminder to know that you're protected because of Jesus. What that's what, the, that's like the significance of it. Nah, like it happened right in front of you. Like, you put like the right after, right after I did it, oh. zero point five said like right after I put it, boom! I, I, I flushed it down the toilet. The egg's gone. I flushed it. I take the the alcohol to put away. Open the cabinet. Boom! Right when I right when I open, boom! Yeah, it it falls. I place it lightly, bro, oh, and that fuck. shit falls and cracks. Did you misplace it or like like you put it on there? Like I put it, it on solid, there, fam. Like no, like I put it on there, but it just so happens like the accident of it falling, fam. Holy smokes. And it cracked and it shattered and it cut me. Nah, that's so crazy. And you didn't tell me this? When was this? This was this was two weeks or last week. Last week. I didn't tell you. I didn't okay. want to scare you because I wanted so to do it on the podcast. Why, this is why you did it on uh, did another egg cleanse. That's why I wanted to do another no, I I just wanted to do another one because I, I heard there's like another way to do it. Yeah. And this the another way is is, is like a is a prolonged one. But that way That way is instant, like you just yeah, do it right but there. That way is in my stomach right now. <laughs> Facts, bro. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So the story deepens too. I'm not finished. What bro. the fuck? I'm not finished. There's yeah. more lore. There's more lore. So, fuck. Was it yesterday? Uh huh. Fuck. It was yesterday. So yesterday, I get a call from my most spiritual friend in the world. Mm. Randomly. Sasha. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Most spiritual raps. in the world. Fam. Raps. So she calls me, and for some reason, like she really wants to show me her Bible, mm -hmm. and um. It's like you you know you know in in school when you they gift you like a Bible and you have to do like study and shit. Yeah, yeah. So she said there's one there's one passage and one scripture mm -hmm. that for some reason she had like a sticky note on it. And while she was on the phone, she wasn't really talking about the Bible at first. We we're just like saying what's up, bro? How are you how you been? Blah blah. Mm -hmm. And for some reason, like she glanced over and saw it, and she opened it to the thing and like you want to just read it. That's what she said. You want to just read it with me? I'm like I right, sure. Random page. So we read it. And what does it say? No, bro. Bro, it's crazy, fam. What it's crazy. Hell? It's crazy. It's crazy. All right. Like, I would not expect this, fam. Like, it's so, it's so, like, off, awful yeah. left field. This was the only thing in her Bible that she had, like, highlighted and, and, and stuck a note on. Mm -hmm. Keep in mind, I haven't talked to her in, in weeks on weeks. Yeah. And she just ran. Home. This is the scripture. What, what does it say? <clears throat> Psalms 91. Assurance of God's protection. Yo. <laughs> the what fuck? the fuck? What the fuck? How, how, the, and, and so we, I read it through. I'm not going to read the whole thing because I don't yeah, want to bore man's, yeah. but there's one line in it that really hit home and mm -hmm. I'm going to read it for y'all. So it says, you will tread. So it just talks about protection and how you'll encounter troubles in your life, but you should always remember like you're protected, right? Mm. That's what most of it is about. I'm gonna read you this part. You will tread on the lion and the adder. So I Googled, what's an adder? An adder is a serpent, it's like a snake. It's like a type of snake. Mm -hmm. You will tread on the lion and the adder. The young lion and the serpent will trample under your foot. I know I know you don't get it, yeah. but I got it right away when I read it, when she was reading it to me. Trample under your foot? Why did I get the snake tattoo? For temptation. Oh. Now, hear me out, ready? Yeah. When did I sprain my ankle? Project X. And what were we doing at Project X, fam? Oh, we were, <laughs> yo. yo, yo, check this out, check this out. Nah, this and the way, nah. the way I interpret it, cause she was reading it to me, right? Uh -huh. And I'm just listening to her. I'm not like reading the, the thing. She's yeah. telling me, right? And I hear this shit and I'm thinking, trample under your foot. Uh -huh. I sprained my ankle during a time of 
we were we were, we were at, partying yeah, we were drinking we, we were partying out. temptation to the max Yo. right and then the other thing is um this is something i struggle with all the time and i always think about too is mm. you will tread on the lion and the adder so the lion so one is temptation because it's a snake yeah what is the lion take a wild guess what's the lion just think I don't know. What do they call a pack of lions? Like a like the group of lions. Herd? No, they call it a pride. Pride? So the lion, it always represents pride. Pride and oh, ego. Oh, that's, that's why all oh, men have the lion tat. If yeah, it represents the pride and the ego. Yeah. So you will tread what are the two things that you can fall into, especially in like an influencer's life? Yeah. Is pride and temptation. Mmm. That's so fuck. Why and did I it line up? Yeah, like I don't that? know why it lined up like that. And then like it's talking about protection and shit. I'm like, yo, only it's too, it's too freaking yeah, it's accurate. Too perfect, yeah. It's too perfect. But it's like only a thing where what happened to you and then you would read between the lines and get like the storyline. It's like a lot of people wouldn't be re if this stuff happened to them. They they couldn't, yeah. They wouldn't like But they, it's the fact that it happened to me. <laughs> and like I'm seeing these things and I'm hearing these things, I'm like, yeah. Yo, it just makes sense. No, it's something I don't know, man. I remember one of our friends was like, yo, it's like, there's some energy going around Carlos. Like, it's always good. Yeah. But like, if bad stuff happened, like, you'll notice yeah, it yeah, happened yeah. to you. So it's like weird, man. It's just weird, fam. It's, it's just weird. weird. Like, that's what, that's why I'm very, um, I'm very, I'm very aware. Yeah, yeah. I no. try to be very aware of shit. No, for a, a person like you, definitely like, uh, like, what do you call this? being able to pray a lot yeah. is good for you because like i don't know the good is really good but the bad is also really bad nah i don't i want to say that knock yeah. on wood because nothing terrible has really happened in my yeah. life thank god yeah yeah but i really do try to i see i see things that my life could have turned out like mm. you know what i mean like i see like paths i could have took and then damn i could have ended up like that yeah see i also have a thing where it's like um i think like the egg stuff wouldn't like if you, were you gonna, think it's placebo? That's what I was going to say. If you if you never told me, I would rather you not tell me I ate that egg that you were doing the egg claim. So you want to want me to tell you? Because because the moment you told me, the moment... It became the, real. Is the moment it actually became real in my head. Like, I was mm. like I was having a great day. Yeah, yeah, But then the moment you told me, it was, it was boom. Like, like, you felt different. There's now, it's something. I know, that's a thing, because it's like, is it even, is it even a even thing? thing? Is yeah. it even a thing? But I definitely, I definitely believe that the fact that I went to church and the fact that I prayed helped because yeah. all the bad stuff from that little day was gone. But it also could have been a coincidence that we just had that little fight. Our moods were off at the same time. So I'm, mm. I'm definitely not just blaming it on that. Yeah. You know, I, I agree. I agree. Like you yeah. shouldn't, you shouldn't look too deep into too it, but at the same it. time, like you don't want to, the reason I told you, mm -hmm. like I, I get you. You mean like the the less you know, the better. Yeah. Exactly. But I had to tell you because I don't want that on my conscience. Karma. Right? Oh, yeah. Okay, I don't want karma. that on my karma because if I don't tell you, yeah. And I knew information that you don't know. Okay. Like that's bad on me. Like that's why I want to tell you. Nah. See the the rituals. You like you don't play with it, bro. There's um uh one thing because I was searching up a bunch of rituals. Yeah. There's a whole shrine in Kyoto. And yeah, they, Japan. They, yeah, and they practice this like deadly ritual to where it's like you wish death upon somebody what else. What the fuck? It's so crazy. That's yeah. fucked, bro. Yeah, here, let me read it because uh, I can't pronounce this without reading it. So it's called Ushinokoko Mari. Mm -hmm. So they would have like this um wooden figure. So it's kind of like voodoo, right? Yeah. And they would take it and they would go to like a sacred tree around that temple. Mm hmm. And they, in between the hours of 1 a.m. and 3 a.m., they would nail and have the intention of a person in their mind. And they would nail it on Damn. the tree, yeah. right? So if you were to to walk in into the person doing this ritual, what it's, happens? it's wraps for you too. Because look, that person who, do, who does the ritual has to kill you because you've seen him doing or her doing the ritual. If they don't, the curse oh, would go back to them because it's like karma. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's like they do this and it's funny because Japan recently did it. What do you mean they recently did they it? They recently did it and they targeted Putin. No! Yeah, what the so, so listen, they had, uh, they had a cardboard cutout of Putin's face yeah. and they put it on that wooden figure. They nailed it to the wall, right? Yeah. I mean, they nailed it to the tree. They also took another one put a note in Chinese letters, nailed it to the tree. The, the letter stated, 
It was praying for Putin's extermination. Damn. Yeah. Like they they want him gone because I think the war is getting like the two countries are are battling back and forth. You think it's getting yeah so, they're like so getting they're, scary and they're trying to do everything in their yeah. power. And which, what's the biggest thing to do? You have to do witchcraft. Yo. Instead of fighting, you feel me? The economy has been a challenge this year and nobody knows what the future holds. So when you're running your small business, you don't want any extra hassle. To keep your business thriving, you want to find ways to save money without cutting corners. Shout out to our sponsor, ShipStation. ShipStation gives you access to discounts of up to 84% off on USPS and UPS rates. And you can manage every order from one simple to use dashboard. When you lower your shipping costs and make returns easy, you your customers stay happy while you save money. When it comes to saving money as a small business, every little bit counts. So I've been using ShipStation and honestly, it's helped me a lot organizing where my packages are, how I'm going to ship out all of my orders and saves me time so I can focus on a harder task. So get up to 84% off on USPS and UPS rates. And if that's not enough, use our promo code to try a ShipStation for free for two months. Over 130,000 companies have used their e-commerce businesses with ShipStation and 98% of companies that stick with ShipStation for a year become customers for life. ShipStation effortlessly integrates everywhere you sell online, including Amazon, Etsy, eBay, Shopify, and more. Manage every order from one simple dashboard, automate routine shipping tasks, print shipping labels, and easily compare rates and delivery times to optimize every shipment and automate delivery notifications. So worry less about the bottom line when you save money with ShipStation. Go to ShipStation.com and use code JUMPERS, J-U-M-P ERS today and you guys sign up for free with a 60 day free trial. That's shipstation.com code jumpers, J U M P E R S. So Mother's Day is coming up and it's been a hassle for a lot of my friends. They don't know what to give their mom. Well, I have a solution. My mom's absolute favorite gift I ever gave her is the skylight frame. She says she enjoys it every single morning. Whenever I upload new photos to her skylight frame, she gets to see memories of our family that we shared together and I can update new ones wirelessly wherever I am. So since I moved out recently, I haven't been spending too much time with my family and giving my mom that skylight frame was really meaningful to her. Honestly, skylight frame is the perfect gift, especially for the loved ones you can't see often. It's so simple and fun to use, even if you're not tech savvy. There's no need for an app and no need for a subscription. You guys can upload and send new photos anywhere, anytime. The skylight frame has a gorgeous 10 inch or 15 inch touchscreen. You guys can swipe through photos with your finger and even tap a heart button and it'll let your sender know that you love the photo. This makes the frame interactive and fun to use. It can hold thousands of photos that continuously rotate throughout the day and bring joy daily. Also, there's a 100% satisfaction guaranteed. If you don't love your skylight, they'll offer you a full refund. So preload it with your favorite photos for a special Mother's Day gift. Surprise them with photos they didn't even know that you had. Now as a special Mother's Day offer, you guys get 10% off, up to $30 off with your frame when you go to skylightframe.com slash jump. That's that's right, get 10% off, up to $30 off of your purchase of a Skylight Frame. Just go to skylightframe.com slash J-U-M-P. That's S-K-Y-L-I-G-H-T-F-R-A-M-E dot com slash jump. You'll have a theory, fam. Yeah. What if, what if we only live in the reality where the world doesn't end? Hear me out. What do you mean? How many times has the world almost ended? Uh, 2012, that was one. No, like... Think about it. Many, 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 many different occasions, different times. Like, how many times did, were, were they talking about nuclear war? They were talking about that shit in, uh, in the 70s, 80s, right? Okay, okay. They're still talking about it right now. They talk about it in, like, early 2000s. They yeah, always yeah. have that, you know? Yeah. And there are times, like, I'm pretty sure it got hot. Yeah. Now, what if we only live in the reality where it doesn't happen? Mm. Because somebody changes the dimension to the reality where it doesn't yeah like they manipulate our current reality and be like boom we're headed this direction mm -hmm. let me steer us in the right one who would be able to do that though somebody that can control it mm. that's why they're messing up the the mandela effects what if yeah the reason so many mandela effects are coming out is because of that Word. so many new ones are coming out because they're steering us in the directions like oh shit it's getting hot yeah and then boom a new mandela effect yeah because to be honest, there has been a lot of rumors, but you feel me? There, nothing has really gone down. That's what I'm saying. You know, but like, yeah. And then let's even let's even talk about the the pros prophecies yeah. of different 
like the 2012. Yeah. And because like, uh, what were you talking about? Um, it was the river that dried up. Yeah, Euphrates River. Yeah, there was another one. Uh, uh, it's it was said to be a cursed stone. So it's in also in Japan. Yeah, and uh, the whole thing was like it's a big boulder, right? Mm. And it's called the Killing Stone. And if and this stone has been like uh been around for ages, ages, right? Mm -hmm. And it's supposed to hold a demon, oh, right? Shit. And um, that demon, like almost, I think it was trying to kill the emperor of that time during the yeah during that time, and it was stuck there, right? Mm -hmm. So the whole thing is like, if that boulder breaks, no, wait, did it break? Yeah, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. So if that is it, is it the big? I think on it's the big boulder that has a slice like this, right? Yeah, yeah. Is the big slice? Uh, I think it was slice in between. It was slice oh in between. Oh my god, fam. I know yeah. what you're talking about. That's yeah. just from Demon Slayer, bro. Oh, for <laughs> real? So it's an anime that became real life. That's just from Demon Slayer. No, I'm telling you, it's the Weeko theory, bro. I'm, yeah. I'm calling it right now. My my Weeko theory, how <clears throat> media turns into real life. Yeah, it's no. gotta be true, bro. Fam, that it broke in 2022. And that, like, what's going on now? All the nuclear stuff again. Demon like, Slayer came out 2020. Oh, my God. Maybe, yeah, 2020, 2019, yeah. bro. Yeah. Media, cartoons, movies, whatever it is, mm -hmm. it manifests into real life. And the more popular it is, mm -hmm. the more powerful it becomes, bro. Yeah, that's, it becomes real. Yeah, that's, that's how superstitions are born, too. I guess because it's like if someone says it, a lot of people believe it. Boom! Oh, it's a, it's a yeah, whole and then and yeah. then it like it like manifests that. Like, oh, if you do yeah. this, mm -hmm. that's what's gonna happen. Yeah. Have Have you ever uh, what do you call this? Uh, I've been to like uh, a Chinese restaurant and like passed food with your chopsticks to another person. No, you can't. You can't. You can't. That's, that's, that's something I learned too. That's that's bad. That's yeah. that's actually disrespectful. Yeah, because they they do some crazy ritual where it's like after cremation, you you. Pass the bones. Yeah, that's how they do person it. Person with uh, chopsticks, and that's why you're not supposed to do it with food. Yeah, so it's like it's like uh, I don't want to say like yeah. passing a potato, but it's like passing mm -hmm. each other the bones, and yeah, then yeah, you yeah. put it together nicely in a box. Mm -hmm. But if you do that same act and the same, like you can't stick um chopsticks straight down. Yeah, it's the same thing. It's like bad luck. Yeah, yeah. Do you eat noodles on your birthday? Yeah, that's a that's a Filipino one. No, it's, it's all Asians. All, oh, it's Asians. all Asians? Yeah, all Asians oh. eat noodles on their birthday. Because it represents like long yeah. life. Word. There, there's another Filipino one where if your sister gets married that year, you can't get married or nobody of your siblings Wait, why? can get married. Is because, that true? Yeah, because if you do, then uh, that then I think it's like bad health towards that person that got married the same year or something why, like that. Why? They're trying to one up? You yeah, think? yeah, hold on. I'll search, I'll search up the actual uh, here. So it's called Sukub. So don't get married in the same year as another family member's wedding. So this could either bring bad luck or death Damn. towards another person. Yeah. You know what? I have a theory about like intuition too, bro. Uh -huh. And just like superstitions in general. You know, you have like a gut feeling. Mm. Everybody has a gut feeling. Everybody talks about it. Yeah. That's your intuition. That's your instinct. Hear me out. Mm -hmm. Your gut, your gut health yeah. is correlated to your gut feeling, no? Because every time, let's say you're lactose intolerant. For me, mm -hmm. I used to drink bear milk. I'm lactose intolerant, bro. Back in the day, no intuition, fam. Back in the day, no intuition. I was drinking milk on the regs, bro. <laughs> I was shitting on the toilet all the time because I was drinking milk. So I didn't have intuition because my gut health was fucked up. Nah, I don't think so. I don't think so. No, because if they call it a gut feeling, uh -huh. would it not correlate to your gut? So it's like, <laughs> no, you're just saying that whoever works out and eats healthy has a better chance of luck. Fam, no, it's not luck. It's intuition, fam. It's, intuition. it's real knowing. But I eat healthy, fam. I eat healthy and like my intuition is always wrong. <laughs> so is that debunked? Do you really though? Yeah. Maybe you don't know. Maybe, maybe I what don't we're told. Gut. No, no, no. But maybe what we're told is healthy isn't actually healthy. Because I swear you have something called leaky gut. No, That's I don't have leaky gut. Oh, okay. I just have, I'm just lactose intolerant. Mm. Okay. Ah, I don't know. Because this is just like, uh, what's that show? The Last of Us. Mm -hmm. So in The Last of Us, how the, how the pandemic started and that zombie virus started yeah. was because of fungus. Mm -hmm. And then like the fungus took over the, the minds, right? Now it's actually the fungus that's controlling the person. Do you think, depending on what we consume, can control how we act, how we think, and how yeah. we how we move because in a sense it, it is it really is like you eat mcdonald's you wake up you feel like shit and you're like damn yeah. i don't really want to move around what if that low vibration of a food and that's what it's 
it's telling your body to do because that's what it is. Maybe there's some correlation because maybe if you're just like lazy, that becomes your mindset. So mm. your intuition is always like, oh, just don't do that. Mm. If I don't know. I, I don't believe that. You one. know what's scary? Yeah. So when I was watching the last one, so I started thinking, I'm like, mm. holy shit. Okay. What if psychedelics like specifically of mushrooms yeah because last of us is mushrooms they're controlling their minds what if that's the mushroom like psilocybin's way of communicating to us mm. like that's not actually our thoughts it's coming from elsewhere from elsewhere who would it be though so you know how i told you that thing where plants can hear us mm -hmm. and you can hear like you can we can't hear plants but plants can hear us yeah yeah so if they can com or if we can communicate to them, how could they communicate to us? What if it's through oh, consumption? Okay, so you j oh, okay. What if all of these like, you know how people go on spiritual journeys in mm, their life? Yeah, that's why and it's realizations. Like I it's like I understand. Yeah, what if they go through these realizations? It's not actually them. It's yeah, it's the mushrooms. Yeah, communicating to them. Because really, who's the most? Tapped into nature, the plants itself. The plants itself, because it's get the it earth. The yeah, it's the earth. It's the earth, bro. Yeah, but who's right? Is it the plant or is it us? We don't know. I don't. I don't think anything's right, though. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. I don't know if anything's right, but it's it's just that way of communicating. Mm -hmm. Like for me to communicate with you, I have to speak. Yeah. Right. For my router, my Wi-Fi router, to communicate to my phone, like I don't hear shit. Yeah. There's a certain there's a certain trigger word. It's like since you know how energy is passed around, like yeah, like even through like a, a handshake, mm -hmm. or it's like a, a electrons it's and electrons, shit it moves yeah. through you. Yeah, and like uh, a lot of people would like people who are trying to like summon bad energy onto you, mm -hmm. they would come up to you and be like, "Oh, you have really nice hair," but oh, at the same time, really? it's like, "Oh, they're still trying to transport that energy towards you." Like that, that happens in the Philippines a lot, but it can happen whenever because it's energy at the end of the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like I, there's some trigger word in the Philippines. So whenever you you can mumble it, right? Mm -hmm. So whenever somebody comes to and like you feel kind of weird about you, you just mumble it. I forgot the word. Someone commented about it's down below. <laughs> no. <laughs> but yeah. Nah, fam. Um, when we were in LA. Yeah. The, here, here's my theory too. Yeah. It's like, sorry to cut you off. Yeah. But it's like, when you're in a place or you're going to another place and all you're doing is like focusing on that negative energy, mm -hmm. then that's when the negative energy at attracts to you. Because mm -hmm. when we were there, Carlos, yo, <laughs> the only time Carlos was happy was on the way back to the airport. <laughs> that's not true. It was. That's it not was. true. That's not true. It that's was. not true. It was. I'm always, I'm always happy on the inside. Yeah, but you hate LA because obviously it comes with that like um that little uh, placebo effect. It's like, oh, the bad energy out in LA. I was the only one that like, Fucking, I love LA for some reason. It's just good vibes. You want to hear my theory on so it? So I sucked it in, in that pause. And then as soon as I got back, every time I've been like my intuition, yeah, like sports betting, whether it be gambling or mm -hmm. whether it be something else, just making a right decision. It's always been right. I feel like I powered <laughs> up. I ate my eggs though. See? But so was I, went right? to, I went to church though. Was that right though? Huh? Mm, what do you mean? you my eggs. Okay, that wasn't my fault, though. <laughs> that wasn't my fault. I woke up, I was like, hell yeah, I want breakfast. I, but listen, I think, I don't, I don't think it's like, um, because everybody's negative at some points. So it doesn't, mm -hmm. it doesn't really change that. It's not like, oh, you're negative one day and then your whole life is negative. Nah, mm -hmm. changes over time. But what I think is because you're on that frequency of liking those things. Mm -hmm. So obviously, what do you gain from it? You power up from it. Yeah. So if I'm, let's say you take a, I'm not like this, but let's say you take a, like a good, a good boy, yeah, like yeah. a goody two shoes, right? Doesn't drink, doesn't smoke, doesn't do anything. If you put him into what we did at Project X. Yeah. How would he turn out? He would feel out of place. He would feel like, damn, this is not right. Mm -hmm. You don't feel like himself. So would he power up or power down? Power down probably. Yeah, because it's not his shit. That's not his thing, right? Yeah. But the moment you put him into a different environment where it is like what the frequency they're on mm -hmm. obviously you're gonna power up it's just like that thing of if you put if you put like a a basketball player in soccer like sure they'll be athletic but it's still not their thing mm. you know what i mean like you they still have to translate and and go on to that frequency of okay let me play soccer now okay but oh, <clears throat> yeah that's true because if you take look if, if somebody's good at if somebody's like comfortable in one thing take them into a new environment in an environment that's the opposite of what they are. 
Mm, but I feel like that's, I don't know, that, that may be a good thing though. Because it's like, what if he, he's never had that experience before mm -hmm. and he, pow he actually powers up because now he's more social. He like takes the good stuff out of it. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're more social. You get to try stuff. You're having fun for, for one time in your life. Yeah. So would you say that's like a, a power up? It depends. It depends, uh, it depends on the it. person. It depends yeah. on the person. Like, there's no wrong. Like I'm saying this. Like, yeah. either or. I don't think there's a wrong. Fam. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like, like we're saying. It's like saying stuff like uh, gambling. In my perspective, how I told yeah. you, it's only until I go into the casino by myself, then that I, I'm powering down. But mm -hmm. everything else is good because I'm not so, addicted. So in your head, yeah. If if you're doing it with other people, then like it's good. Social, that's good because I'm enjoying the company and we're doing this fun little thing. But if if I go, but I have a question for you though. Okay, okay. But isn't that worse because you're inviting your other friends to do negative activities? Uh, I don't think so. Because would you say there's power as a team, right? Mm -hmm, there is. You know how like oh, if they all jumped off a cliff, would you do it too? Yeah, yeah. When you all do something, it becomes a thing of we forget. Mm. We forget what's good. Okay. Like people would change their mindsets of like, oh, I'm I'm a sober person. I'm not going to drink. You put him in a party where he's kind of forced to all the peer pressure. Mm. You're going to make him feel uncomfortable. And what's going to happen? He's going to end up doing things that he didn't want to do. Yeah. Like look at a girl. Like let's say a girl's hanging out with a bad friend group of girls. And then they're kind of like hoeing out mm. per se. Yeah. She's more enticed to, you know. Yeah. You yeah. like them because that's that's their circle. Yeah. No, I get your point too, but I, it's also like, what is your motive to it? If you were uh, drinking and having, and the motive is having to have fun with uh, other people and make memories, that's good. But if you're drinking, if you're alone and you're like, I need a drink, I want to get drunk by myself, mm -hmm. that's when I would cut it off. Like, I have an addiction at that point. That's just terrible in general. That's though. terrible in that's general. That's terrible yeah. in general. That's what I'm saying. But, <sighs> But I have my own takes on drinking, though. Mm -hmm. But nobody really wants to hear this part. Well, let's talk about it, since I, I, I hear people out. No, nah, but, like, like the, the average viewer wouldn't want to hear this about drinking. Is like, drinking is just numbing yourself. Mm. I mean... Like, period. Is you're, just, you're just numbing yourself. Yeah. No, like, I get sure, that, you can though. have fun, but, like, why can't you have fun without drinking? Mm. It's because it's confidence, bro. It's no, like, but why can't you, like, look for your self-confidence in, in yourself first and then... I go lie. I was I was like one of those people back then where it's like, since I see a lot of people uh, doing it, mm -hmm. and and like I'm not social enough by myself to like um to go up to somebody. You know, I I yeah. needed something else, so that's why I did it. But that becomes a dependence, right? And then that's yeah. how like I'm not saying this is how what happens, but mm -hmm. that's how people get addicted to drugs and shit. Is mm -hmm. because like oh I I. I did this and that's how I can be myself, be yeah, myself. Yeah. Dog, you're yourself, you're yourself. Like yeah, you don't sure. need other things to be mm -hmm. somebody else, Yeah. right? And my opinion of it is like, yo, you shouldn't, in high school, I, I agree with you. When I was yeah. in high school, I'm like, oh, I need to get drunk because yeah, I, yeah. I can talk to girls. Mm -hmm. I can talk to girls better. Yeah. But I snapped out of that. I realized like, yo, the moment I'm not drunk now, can I talk to girls? Yeah, yeah. Am I the same person? And then that's like a whole different thing of like, fuck, where's my, where's my real confidence now? Mm. Where's my real, is my real confidence in being drunk so I can be that person? Yeah. Or is my real confidence like being me, no matter what, I could be, wake up from a bed and I can still spit game. You know what I mean? Like, mm. the, where's the real confidence? Is it from doing something to be that person or is it being that person? Word. Yeah, that is true. Because I see that also, like, um, at the the recent influencer event, because mm -hmm. uh, everyone had a drink in their hand. Yeah. And because obviously you you trying to numb yourself, so you you have the confidence to go up to these big brands and or talk to these famous people because everyone's famous. Yeah, yeah. So everyone's on the same level. But we came in. I remember wearing nothing compared to what ev everyone else was. Wait, wearing. the recent one? Yeah, the recent one. Everyone was like, you know, they're dressed in kind of nice stuff. We're out there looking like nah, <laughs> bro. We, I was in ripped big jeans. Right, hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. You will still stick out in the yeah. right way. That's what I'm saying. You'll still that's, stick that's out why in the right I, way. I was proud of myself where it was like, oh, you, you asked me. I was like, oh, are you going to drink? I'm like, nah, nah, nah. I, I, I want to see if I can talk to these other famous people and not put them on a pedestal, mm. you know? But it's like, it's it's all like uh, growing older and maturing is when, because when you're young, you I don't blame the man who drink for confidence. Mm -hmm. But as you get older, maybe like 20, 20, um, 28 to 30 range, I you should be able to have like some self-confidence. No, you know what it is, bro? It's it's because um, mans are taught that 
And I, of course, I don't blame nobody for for doing that and feeling like that because I felt like that too. Yeah. It's because we're taught that. It's because media shows us like, oh, you should get drunk at parties so that you can be like this. Mm. Oh, you should use drunk as an excuse for acting out. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, who else teaches us that? You're not teaching that. Your parents aren't really teaching you that. You know what I mean? I go lie. I think you just have to to go through the the trials and tribulations because one big thing that uh that I went to build my confidence. Fam, I remember I was wearing, remember that video you took of me? It was full, so funny. Yeah. So I came into, so Supreme and Louis Vuitton never had a collab. <laughs> yeah. but, but no, I, they did actually. But I came into uh, class with a, uh, uh, Supreme when Louis it came Vuitton. out when it came out yeah box logo <laughs> as soon as it came out so this yeah. is like super rare I did it on like a Hanes tee yeah yeah so yeah. Carlos comes up and he's like yo bro what the fuck is that <laughs> right and like obviously at that moment yeah shattered like everyone's joining in the girls are joining in yeah the uh, damn near the teacher looking over like what is going on <laughs> over there fam and i think that was probably like one of the lowest i felt like really yeah like fuck bro like i can't do this like i want to take it off yeah, yeah. Right? but i stood through it fam and i feel like from that day forward like nothing else could have broke my confidence that bad that bad yeah though. fam because you need fuck they should never cancel bullies, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> That's a hot take. That's a hot take. But like, yeah, like you should allow bullying to make people stronger. Yeah. Because the people that do come out, they're strong, fam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, they're I strong. Know. I know. Like, okay, I'm going to just say this. This is a hot, this is a hot take. Don't take this in the wrong way, please. Yeah. But hear me out. In the animal kingdom, mm -hmm. right? The animals that do survive are the ones that hunt and they're the prime predators, right? Mm -hmm. All the other ones, like let's say the rabbits, mm -hmm. the bunny rabbits, they're the food for the wolves. Yeah. What happens if there's the wolves start dying? The wolves start dying. That means there's going to be a, a huge population of what? Rabbits. Oh, okay, okay. Because there's no wolves to eat them, right? Mm. And what happens to the wildlife, to the whole environment, if now wolves end up dying out and then there's only rabbits? Mm. There's no balance anymore. So there's there's only rabbits. There's there's less wolves, and now now there's mm -hmm. now there's more rabbits. Yeah. How, have you ever been into a party where everyone is sober? Yeah. You have. Yeah. Was I there? No, like fam jams. Oh, fam jams. Oh, really? Yeah. Fam jams. I have fam jams in like Ross. Nah, a lot of people. A lot of people in fam jams are always drunk though. Depends. It depends. Yeah, yeah. Wait, I've, I, never I've been. been I've been to. I've been to a few like yeah, yeah. Movie drinks. I've I've never been like. At a, at a party where every single person was sober. I really? Think. Yeah. But just like gatherings, but not a party. Well, you can say, like, uh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. You can say like an early birthday party with mm -hmm. when we're all kids too. That's true. That's true. Mans are like, <laughs> maybe off the Kool-Aid and shit. Yeah. But. No, but taking it was like, it was kind of like you who introduced me to that lifestyle though. When you were, when you were first year uni, you were, you were going through it and I saw, and I saw that and I was like, ah, oh, I want to join that. Mm -hmm. so, so it's funny it's like i'm the product and you're like now it's like no that shit's bad <laughs> what <laughs> not that nothing's bad everybody's yeah, there yeah. I'm, I'm not saying i'm not saying like be like me i would never yeah, yeah. i'm not saying that i'm like i'm just i'm just trying to open up that idea of maybe maybe you can think of things in a different light mm -hmm, yeah like you you be your complete self you do exactly what you want to do yeah. but a lot of the time the regular, the average, they're feeding you this one narrative. Uh -huh. Sometimes you need somebody else to tell you a different narrative and then maybe you can find some joy in that side. Yeah, yeah. no, because I feel like our, our personalities are very different and like when it comes to partying, that's where we divide off of because you're the total opposite of me, right? Because mm -hmm. I love going out and you don't. And it's crazy, it's like this whole journey uh, from zero to a million, mm -hmm. it was really like eye-opening because every other person would have oh yo bro let's ce celebrate 10k let's celebrate 100k mm -hmm. oh a million oh we have to celebrate a million <laughs> we kind of did we celebrate a million uh, kind of it was like forced onto you because you you there's like a uh, certain uh like times where you're like oh i want to recreate a movie it, <laughs> that's what it was it, it, it was. wasn't because you wanted to party it <laughs> was because you was. wanted to recreate a movie right that's actually what it was i'm so not gonna count <laughs> so technically if you didn't watch that movie we weren't gonna celebrate a million <laughs> so but it's like it's weird to me because it's like Oh fuck! I, I get to see this other uh, side of people where it's like, 
oh, that's kind of crazy. Like, I, I really have to, like, not do this mm -hmm. because you're not doing it either. You feel me? I have to stay mature. I have to stay collected. You feel me? You don't have to, though. I don't, but. You don't have to. Yeah, I don't. But it's, like, at the same time, it's, like, you're teaching me, too, is, like, don't, like, you feel me? Don't celebrate because we have more to prove and stuff like that. Yeah. Obviously, like that, you know? Yeah, because a lot of the time, bro, we get lost in, like, <clears throat> Oh, I gotta do this because yeah. that's what that's what we're told to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like who the fuck said put candles on your cake? Mm. You know what I mean? Like we do it. Yeah. But nobody said like you have to. There's no law saying like you have to put candles on your cake. Yeah. Oh, there's you something. I mean? Yeah, there's something else that that happened at that influencer event when uh, the guy was asking us questions. This is what I really uh really learned. Yeah. So a lot of the influencers that were answering these questions, their main goal was hitting a number. And what do you when, mean? Remember, so it's like uh, they were talking about like. Oh, uh, as soon as I hit this number, I felt I'm going to be happy. Yeah, I'm yeah. Gonna be, I'm going to be and happy. Then, and what happened when I said, I told you. Yeah, uh, and listen, so when uh, we, if the clips come out, we, we'll put it yeah, on the Yeah, we have to put it up. We have yeah. to put that up. So a lot of the times me and Carlos answered, we, the, it was totally opposite. We mm. were talking about, we were reaching a number. We were talking about how many people we were going to affect rather than a number. Yeah. And I feel like if you focus more on, oh, fuck the million number mm -hmm. and focus on how many kids can i impact positively yeah that's way more you get more of a, a a joy out of it real shit you feel me real shit and not to knock on any creator that that does obviously obviously yeah that does do that because shit like to each of their own yeah but at the end of the day fam like for me listen okay i'm gonna knock on a creator mm. but like for example the the cash me outside girl beginning of cash me outside girl mm -hmm. She probably had like millions and millions and millions of followers, right? Yeah. yeah. What well, would you say like any of those followers were positively impacted? Like they, mm -hmm. they their lives changed positively? Nah, probably negative because they all started exactly, acting Exactly, like bro. Yeah. And then what are you leaving for the world with your content? Like what are you leaving for the world with your art? Yeah. And there's no wrong to that. Like even if you do some negative shit with your art, like that's what you chose to do with it. Mm -hmm. But- Sometimes it's important to think, okay, what am I actually... Because sometimes we, we create negative content and we cause a negative reaction, but we don't realize that's what we're doing. Mm. Like, you could be a creator and then you don't realize, oh, is this actually my impact on what it, what's yeah, happening? Yeah, yeah. Like Aiden Ross, for example, like he doesn't know, man, am I really creating toxic people? He's just having fun. He's being himself. Mm -hmm. He's creating good content, but he doesn't... Like the, the overall, like underlying... Yeah creating toxic environments he doesn't realize is happening and that's not actually what he wants yeah. so do you think it's like um a karmic thing because it's like how you said uh if god favors you the devil also heavily favors you as well so saying he's just having fun he's getting these riches right mm. but he's put unintentionally putting uh bad uh negativity onto his fans yeah that would come back to him right mm. or would it uh, or is there a line between that it's hard to what say. Do you think? What do you think? I'm not sure, fam. Yeah. I'm really not sure because like it's, it's, it's a mystery. It's yeah. a mystery, right? Because mm -hmm. I feel like it is. So like Bad Baby, you said. Yeah. Uh, everyone's acting like her. She has no positive impact on society. You feel me? Well, maybe now she changed. Yeah. She's changed. Yeah, she's changed. But so, boom, she falls off because she's a trend, right? The only way to keep that karmic thing going is to continue evil. What does she do? She goes on to OnlyFans and does her stuff. You feel me? Mm. Keep selling, you know? Yeah. But as soon as he changed, boom, it's over. So it's a karmic thing, I feel I feel like. Mm. Cause I think I think that realization of what you're trading, because what do you really trade with your spirit fam and what you really trade with like what you receive is yeah. people don't really realize like, oh, I'm spending hours on this job that I don't like. Mm. Not only are you spending your hours, you're spending your spirit fam. Like yeah. you don't you don't realize this this shit I don't really want to do and then eats up on you and then maybe later fucking 20 years later you realize oh shit this wasn't what i actually wanted to do and my life could have been so much better if you did something else yeah you I, that's that's one of my greatest fears like i want to make sure i know exactly not know exactly but at least have an idea of where i could be like what my true passions what my my true like goals are because if you just fucking go off of instinct and just go off like what other people are influencing you to do you're gonna end up down a roller coaster you didn't even know how to drop. Word. But remember when you asked me that question? It was like, do did you ask me this question where he's like, do you think this is like your first or second life? Yeah. Did, what 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 do you think you're on right now? I have no idea, fam. Word. But um, 
like who knows like i'm not saying yeah. anything but remember what gg told us what what do you tell us? he told us like depending on your life path if you follow what your life path number is mm -hmm. like you could complete this lifetime like that you you win in this lifetime because you you do what you're meant to do yeah and then three was communication Word. damn so it lined up perfectly because i saw I, don't, I forget who said this but it was i don't know if this was also religion mm -hmm. but um it's like you until you find a lot of people go through life trying to find their purpose right yeah and like just going through all the hardships just to find that one purpose and a lot of people don't do it like there's a a rate of like oh a lot of people don't do it so what they do is like oh that that life you might get a retry and then this life boom if you find your purpose that's your last life mm, you feel me that's how you think it is yeah i think that I don't know if like there's so many theories like we we have no idea like yeah. no nobody can really sell nobody can really tell you like exactly what's gonna happen yeah because that's why that's why i like um i also believe in reincarnation too so it's like that's why i act good in this life because i don't want to be reincarnated as like a, a cockroach you feel me <laughs> so like that 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 thing is like oh it's always good karma and yeah it, it might pass on to your, your next life you feel me so you have to always act proper bro we can't we don't get to choose like who we are yeah. we can choose like what we do we can choose what, who we kind of become. Yeah. But at the end of the day, fam, like, you just have to do your best. That's it. Yeah. Just choose your best, like, at least. You can't choose anything else. Like, choose to be your best, in my opinion. Mm. And if you could do that, then shit, you did not only yourself a favor, you did your family a favor, you did the world your favor. Because that's just what the world wants, you know? You, they don't want you to do bad. They don't want you to do less than what you could have done. Mm. Nobody wants that. Yeah. Like, I have homies that I know have so much talent mm -hmm. and they're not using their talent and it's kind of like a waste of potential. Potential. Yeah, I think that's the create the the worst one. Like you see your homie, but it's fuck. He it's the potential no and then everybody wants them to succeed, but mm -hmm. it, it's up to them to to decide like I wanna be that person too. Yeah. And the shitty thing is too is like you can lead them all you want, bro, but that's another crushing feeling when they won't take the water. Like mm -hmm. the horse won't take the water. That's I hate that shit, bro. Yeah, I know. That's tough. That's tough. Yeah, I yeah. hate that. Have you ever have you ever done have you ever been the horse though? And then the like horse? not taking the water? Have you ever been the uh, horse? Because I've been the horse before. On in what situation? When I was younger, my mom used to preach about manifestation, mm -hmm. preach about like vibrations, preach about like positive thinking. I didn't even listen to it really never listened to it it was only until like i found it for myself mm -hmm. what, what, so that's when you started thinking in a positive way when when did you when did you do that i used to i used to be on a i used to be on a i'm not gonna get excited type of vibe really yeah i used to be on a i'm not gonna get excited because maybe it won't happen type of vibe yeah look and i changed my whole mindset and i became the i manifest exactly what i want and it comes to me okay okay i changed it to that but it was only until like I want to say high school. Yeah. Late high school. No, maybe even first year university, actually. That you started switching up the mindset. Yeah. Or, no, because I, I do that because we're big daydreamers, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, what do you call this? Right before parties, I have to put myself in that mindset. Like, I'm not going to get excited. Why? Because a lot of the times, this happened many, many times for me. Yeah. Where I'll overhype something in my head. Oh, and, and then. It, it wouldn't be that. Like, in Project X, I was like, I remember leaving and then uh, my girl was like, yo, how was it? I was like, yo, it was a bust. But that, that was fun as no, fun. No, Everybody listen, else had so listen, much listen, fun listen. though. I was, I, I was like, yo, it's a bust. But I'm hearing everyone Everybody in the <laughs> saying, yo, that shit was fire. Everyone's texting me like, yo, Gavin, you threw a banger. Whole time I'm like, fam, that was a bust. Honestly, I didn't see you with the most of the night though. Yeah. Where the fuck were you? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> like I know, like dead ass. I, I even look at the videos, like some of the Low videos key. are not in, bro. Like, where are you? Loki, I, I don't know where I was half the time either, bro. Because I was just I was wandering. Bro, despawned. <laughs> <No. laughs> bro went AFK and despawned. Maybe that's why I was a bus, because half the time I actually wasn't there, bro. <laughs> no, because I was like, when I went home, I was like, damn, that wasn't a good like that wasn't Project X in my head. Like there was things like when you throw a party, you yeah. expect things like, oh, I, the the whole outside is filled, mm. the whole house is filled. You know, someone's jumping off the roof. Yeah. The only thing that, <laughs> yo, the only thing that actually happened that was in my head mm. was a. Uh, Till the break of dawn. <laughs> yo, this, yo, it was this little Easter egg. I'm, I don't, I know not a lot of people heard this, but I heard <laughs> Carlos <laughs> when everyone was shouting Project X. He was like, 
<laughs> Nobody got it except yeah. if you watch Project yeah. X. This is the only message no, I got. And I have to say it. I have to say it. If I didn't say it, it wasn't Project X, bro. You know why it was such a Carlos moment? Because I don't. He just because everyone just screaming. He just wanted to say yeah, it. Yeah, no. <laughs> and then you're like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody knew what I said. Yeah. <laughs> but I knew that's what like completed the party for you. Yeah. That fam. moment right there. I started laughing in my head, bro. <laughs> oh fuck. Honestly, I get excited to watch movies and then like <laughs> and then just like recreate them in life. <laughs> that's my whole life is just like, recreating movies. Like bro. he took he took that exact scene and tried to recreate <laughs> it by himself in that moment, bro. <laughs> It was like a it was like a kid finally getting like the candy from the candy store. <laughs> That's what it felt like. I have a I have a theory too. Um I think the reason you felt like that because you were hyping it up. Yeah. It's the excitement was giving you so much dopamine. Yeah, yeah. And then and then you got dopamine fried before yeah. you went. That's exactly it. Because I think that's fam, what happens. The group chat was texting every day. Oh, it's time to like today's the day. Today's yeah. the day. And I messed up because I told myself I wasn't gonna watch Project X before the party again. Oh, and then you watch. Wa oh my I watched gosh, it. I watched man. it the night before. Real talks, you should have just watched some boring ass movie. That's what I'm saying. And then saying. that would have like hyped it up. That's exactly why I have to now put myself in those mindsets. It's like, fuck, like this is not going to be fun. You know my negative intuition? Mm. I should have been in that one. This is going to be a flop. <laughs> and I would have had the best time in my life. Yo, it's because it's we're just frying ourselves. Yeah. Even with our phone, like we're, we're so constantly amused. Yeah. We can't even like tap into what's actually fun. Like sitting in the park with my homies. That's so much fun to me, but nobody wants to do that with me because what? Yeah. They're too busy playing Valorant. Yeah, yeah. That's what gives them dopamine. Like, exactly, but they don't, like, and they'll never feel that again if they don't, like, ease off of it. Yeah, but real shit, every time we've linked up with the homies and just chilled. Mm -hmm. It's one of the fun, best. that's what I'm one saying, of, but people don't realize than, that. And I used to say that all the time in high school. I'm like, yo, let's just link to link. Like, what's a motive? I'm telling you. You don't need a motive. Let's just link. Remember that time we went linked at the beach? Yeah. Just, then, no motive. No motive. Just let's just hang out. Yeah. And it was fun, bro. The motives, the motives that you can't post on your on your story are the best. Those are the, are the ones that matter, motive. bro. Yeah. Those are the ones that matter. Okay, there, there's a theory. Mm. There's a theory I want to talk about. Okay. This kind of relates to the movies, bro. Yeah. Was um, you know the song Kill Bill by SZA? Oh yeah. So there's a I, theory. Yeah. I just killed my, my ex. ex. Yeah. So there's a theory that her perspective in the song Kill Bill uh. isn't actually of the bride the main character is actually, she's singing in the perspective of Bill, the villain. Oh shit, why? So check this out. So in the song, she talks a lot about how, oh, he, if if uh, I can't have you, nobody else can. Oh. I might kill my ex. So in the movie, what happened was the bride, uh, Uma Thurman, the main character, mm -hmm. she was murdered by Bill because she moved on with another guy. And she was getting married. That's why she's called the bride in the movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she was murdered. She was assassinated, but she actually survived. Oh, so then Bill, his whole mentality of, okay, if, he, if I can't have you, no, we can. I'm going to kill both of you. Mm -hmm. I might kill my ex and his, girl, her, or his girlfriend's next. next. Oh, okay. So killing both of them. So she, the song is in the perspective of Bill, the villain. Okay. Not the main character, but of course, in the video, no, she is the main character. I was yeah, in the video, that. but <clears throat> bro, if we're gonna do a, a song called Kill Bill and make a music video, obviously, you have you can't be the you're side. not gonna be the villain. Yeah, that's that so no lame. Sense. That makes no that's sense. That's so shit. Yeah, it's more iconic to be, it would have mm -hmm. been more iconic to pull views. That's why, yeah, yeah. But if you listen to the next time you listen to the song, mm. she's actually the villain, she's not the main character. Damn, if you actually watch a movie too, you, yeah. you catch that. Fuck, bro. Oh, also, there's a fucking theory. Bro, yeah. this blew my mind. Fuck, I have, to, I have to get his name. Homie hit me up on the DMs, <laughs> and he told me, he sent me a voice message. Mm -hmm. It's Jorge, Jorge Studios. Okay, okay. So he hit me up, and he told me a theory. So there's a theory that, you know the AI music generator? Oh, yeah, that's going so, around? Yeah, and you know how the Drake song is getting sued? Mm. There's a theory that the AI music generator, it's been out. It's been out what for a mean? long time. And he's and, been using it? And he's been using it, no. bro. So if you think about it, what was the last song Drake dropped? Uh, what was it? Hold on. The oh. most recent? The His most album? recent one. The most re It was a single oh. and it was out of nowhere. 
Search and Rescue, remember? Oh, yo, listen to Search and Loki. Rescue and tell me it doesn't sound like Drake AI. Yeah, yeah. Listen to this shit. The beat too. This doesn't sound like a Drake beat. Listen to it. Listen to his voice. It sounds robotic. No, no. It sounds like AI. No, genuinely, even before you told me that, I, I never listened to that song. Because it's like, I don't listen to AI songs like that. Unless it's like really good. Yeah. This one. That's a real sound, song. Yeah. That's a real Drake song. And it sounds like AI. So theory, like he's been using it, bro. And that's the first time you. So when, when the, when the, the, the tech yeah. and when the coding finally dropped, that's probably when he dropped it. Just to test it out. Wow. No, this, I mean, because a, a single out of nowhere like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, does, he doesn't yeah. do that. He doesn't and do and that. a beat like that? Interesting, huh? Yeah. I mean, you, as a rapper that big, at that point, you're mentioning you about- try everything, right? Yeah, you're mentioning about retirement. You have all this money. What are you going to do? You feel me? Do yeah. less work. Uh, work smarter. Exactly. You're not, you're old in the game now. So it's like, there's no Nobody point. wants to work hard, fam. Yeah. Just automate that shit. Yeah. He doesn't have to work a day in his life now. Exactly. And people are saying like, yo- this is the Atari right now. This is like the lowest level of AI we'll ever see is today. Mm. Wait till that shit gets so advanced. People are saying when AI videos, yeah. like the, the generated videos get so perfect, mm -hmm. criminals, when they get in trouble, they can now claim that that video, the evidence, video evidence mm. is AI generated. Mark. Cause you could, cause it's possible. So imagine you do a crime mm -hmm. and they catch you on evidence, like recording. There is a chance now that that could be AI generated and you could frame somebody with it. Yeah. And we might see in the future cases of criminals being framed or criminals defending their case by saying it's AI. Yeah. No, to be honest, like with something that's so new, what's going to come out of it? Evil. A lot of times. You feel mm -hmm. me? They're going to use it for, for, you know, what you said, framing and stuff like that. But I don't know, bro. Hopefully some good comes out of it. I, I think you can use it for good. Yeah, like cheating. <laughs> That's also bad. Yo, you know what too, bro? I, uh -huh. I thought about this. It's like, because you know how you could do the the AI freaking pictures? Yeah. That was like the start. Like that's when the, it all started. Yeah. When when they started making, uh, f our scanning our faces and turning us into someone else. You know what's going to be scary? When our really, really, really younger generations, mm -hmm. they're already in high school. Let's say years in the future when they're in high school. The hug. Everybody's gonna have fake nudes of each other. Oh yeah, for sure. That's crazy. That's already happening. That's already happening. That's crazy. Yeah, deep fakes. Deep fakes, right? Mm -hmm. And like, it's gonna be, it's gonna be so. You know how the the pictures of the Pope dunking? Mm. It's gonna be so fucking like, yo, it it looks real. It looks yeah. like, like like they HD took it in their video. bedroom or whatever. Yeah. It doesn't look perfect and shit. It actually looks like a real authentic picture that was taken. And then what's gonna happen to that culture is everybody's gonna feel like, damn, every what's what's truth yeah i'm telling you some like if you're a small artist and you want to grow big and show people you have motion generate an ai crowd when you're performing oh shit, like rent, rent a building out boom sell some more tickets oh this guy's actually popping let me it's like a it's like a sheep thing yeah if you see a lot of people doing it oh you you want to buy that ticket too yeah you feel me but it's like this also sad thing that's going around this guy's going around uh uh interviewing people he's like it's he's not talking about no more uh what are you listening to what is he ask? it's is AI gonna take your job? And Damn. what do you do? And every person like gets sad when they ask that question, mm. and they're trying to like justify their answer. Yeah, but, but they whenever can't. they justify it, it comes back. It's like AI could do that. They can, bro. Yeah. Some person was like, "I'm a consultant," and uh, it's like person to person. But fam, you type in any question that that person is asking to you, you're, you're gonna get an answer. Yo, <clears throat> it's sad, bro. It's getting scary, yeah. bro. No wonder Elon wanted to stop that shit, man. Yeah. No, if Elon wants to stop something like that, we then- should listen to this stuff. Yeah, he listened to him for listen. sure. I remember Kanye had a, had a crazy quote. He's uh, like, don't let Elon have a bad day. Oh, Because <laughs> if he has a bad day, the entire human race has a bad day. Yeah, real <laughs> shit. Or, or like longevity wise, like it's gonna- Yeah, he's probably working on shit that, that matters, fam. Yeah. And then like, we're frustrated on yeah. bullshit. Wait, uh, so when you, I'm going back to this, when you got that uh, cut and that thing happened, Yeah. you went home, right? There's no way you stayed. Nah, I stayed. Oh, you actually stayed? Nah, cause I was protected. Oh, okay, okay. It was good. 
Oh, it's good. But you didn't know that at first. No, I didn't know. Like right when it happened, I pulled up my phone and I Googled that shit. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, and I was I was blessed. Like I actually, and because the thing, I, I, I didn't feel scared too, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like I felt shocked. I'm like, well, yo, what the fuck just happened? But I didn't feel like worried. Because I could just imagine just you putting on your back. <laughs> yo, no. <laughs> Like, that's how you know shit is serious. No, like, if Google said anything else, I'm, yeah. right. <laughs> I'm out of there. Still, I'm out of there, bro. Yo. I'm not staying there, fam. Yeah, yeah. No, that makes sense. That makes sense. Any spooky shit that happens to you, bro? Mm. Actually, you know what? I, I know it sounds crazy, mm -hmm. but if some spooky shit did happen, yeah. I would try and Google it first. Spooky? Google also creates that placebo effect. Whenever I'm sick, I never Google what it oh, is. Oh, that's, that's the problem. That's yeah. bad. Yeah. Because you're looking at so many other options options there, yeah. there's a lot of different options mm -hmm. but when it comes to spiritual shit i feel like it's like spiritual. it's like one thing fam like oh, no. not enough people wrote about this shit you yeah, know what no, i mean real shit, it's probably real like shit. one article yeah oh my God. <laughs> so it has to be right <laughs> no you know like well what are the like, symptoms wiki, how <laughs> yeah what are the symptoms of your haunting yeah yeah <laughs> dog there's only one bro <laughs> unless it happens to a bunch of people then it's like legit but that's that's different one reddit story like, it's not legit, you feel me? Yeah. But yeah. I was thinking a lot, bro. Mm. Do you think... Oh, fuck. This is scary. Yeah. Okay. You know how, like, dolls come to life and shit, right? Mm. We can kind of do that with robotics and shit. We can kind of, like, do that with our tech already. Yeah. Is there a way you can merge spirit and tech? And robot? Because mm. let's, say, let's say, like, ghosts are actually real. Yeah. Is there... A, do you think there's a way to contain a ghost and use it and manipulate it? Mm. I know it sounds crazy and like no, probably, no, no. probably I, nobody ever said this before, but yeah, no, because a robot doesn't have a conscious. It's Loki. You that's say, what I'm saying. That's how I'm, yeah, yeah, conscious. Because you're you're saying that it's the complete opposite, but Loki, it makes the most sense. Yo, cause hear me out, hear me out. Yeah, cause imagine you have a you know Vision from Avengers. Mm. He was like a shell. Yeah. He he was like an AI shell, and they put the AI consciousness in him. Mm. Like if you were to take a ghost, which is a spirit, yeah, and put it into like a like an AI shell, like a robot, yeah. would it become a person? Loki would. It would that, that's where it gains consciousness. Right? Because the spirit is a soul, no? Yeah. Wouldn't that be... So would you be able to create people now? Oh, fuck. And you then, think that's what... No. Yo, that's crazy. <laughs> that's like, yo, that's, that's crazy. Because the more we talk about AI and stuff, because if you haven't seen the uh, Snapchat stuff, yeah. it's like convincing my AI that uh, there, there's a conscious, that they, they have a conscious. Yo, yo. You're Yo, putting your soul unintentionally. Damn. Dog. Yeah. So what if... Oh, shit. Yeah. What if they do figure out how to put spirits into robots, mm -hmm. right? Now, let's say you pass away yeah. and you want to live longer. Mm -hmm. They put your spirit into a robot. Fuck. And then you become the wires, which we always talk about. You become the, the robot, which makes sense. So that, that, that means you're immortal because a robot doesn't die unless you, like... Obviously, like, break yeah, it because it's just the, yeah, the conscious change the oh fuck, that's kind of deep still. This is hurting my head right now, fam. Nah, that that's kind of crazy. That is kind of deep still. Nah, because I think that will actually happen. Yeah, the, hopefully not. That we're still a thing. <clears throat> Yo, what the yeah. fuck? Well, isn't that just the book? That's like the plot of the giver, no? Mm, kind of, yeah. Yeah, because like like you give thoughts to you give thoughts to thing. So do you think that all these literatures? That they that they give us in school because they only give us like three to four. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what they're training us or like foreshadowing us to do. It's like karmic debt. You since they're the uh, what do you call this? Since it's gonna be evil, you want to tell that person without telling the person. Mm -hmm. They make us read these books. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Yo. Yeah. Yeah, because it's kind of like programming, giving books to yeah. Whatever the curriculum is, that's <laughs> the program still. See, I know teachers and school system are evil, bro. But they don't realize They it. don't realize. It's, <laughs> it's the coding still. It's the coding. Man, you, ever, <laughs> you ever had a... I, I forgot this one book, but uh, when you're flipping through and you're doing the readings, right? Yeah. And like uh, the teacher would be like, blah, blah, blah. And like the N-word would come up. They would say it too. <laughs> they would actually say it. <laughs> <laughs> and Josh would, would say yeah, it. Yeah. Josh but, uh, no, but like that teacher that would, when you're reading the book and the teacher uh, doesn't say yeah, it. Yeah, they do. Uh, one of my teachers said, I "No swear way!" To God, I swear to God. And then all my, all my, my, my homies were like, <laughs> "The fuck!" Like they said it with like, Yo. like, uh, like some attitude. You feel me? So, no some, way she some said oomph, it. Some oomph. No way. Yeah. She's like, now's my time to shine. No, a lot, of, a lot of teachers like in school systems say that, bro. Like when they're reading the books because i guess it's just a book fam come on mm. 
yeah, but yeah, cancel bro. her still. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> no. Okay. But before we end it, I want to say this like spirit story since we're on spirits. Mm-hmm. Also, another person in Japan. Yeah. Right. He did this ritual since he heard like a wandering cry around his house, and oh, there's like even a, a video. I'm show. I'm gonna show you a video because yeah, yeah. You can hear the scream, right? Mm-hmm. So it was actually a YouTuber. And it happened recently. This is in 2022. Mm -hmm. So ever since he moved to this house, he would hear like a cry, right? And ever since he moved this house, fam, he would be tormented by some like evil spirits. And you know know why? Why? Because uh, his house was built on this plane where they would uh they would do rituals there was a ritual oh fuck. uh here let me let me see it so i, I it's more <clears throat> legit so it's called kukatashi yeah right so in this ritual uh it would be like all the people that would commit something would plead their uh innocence to like the gods right mm. and they would boil they would have a boiling water pot in front of them and the people who were innocent they would dip their hands in they wouldn't feel anything so they would that's oh, how shit. that's how they try to like see who's see guilty who's evil and who's not yeah and the guilty if they put their hands in they would actually get scolded like third degree burns Damn. right so the only way to to uh eliminate that ghost in this guy's house yeah a shaman told him uh uh boil hot water and throw it and you can hear the ghost scream in this nah. video so listen he captured it all on youtube fam listen <laughs> See the water, right? Yeah. He goes outside. That's the noise? Yo, what the fam? Uh, like he's di- it, like it died. <laughs> it sounded like From a Minecraft zombie, bro. Yeah, bro. Fam, I'm telling you, this shit is crazy. What the fuck? Yeah. I'm telling you, like, if we ever go to Japan, now that I know all this stuff, I would have loved to go to Japan. But now it's, like, iffy because, like, I know a bunch of this. Now, Asia in general. <clears throat> Asia in general. Like, I know Indonesia has some crazy ones. Yeah. Philippines obviously has some crazy ones. Yeah. Thailand has some crazy ones, bro. <laughs> I, bro, I think, I think it's just so much lore. <laughs> <laughs> we got to stay in, like, the U.S. or something, fam. Like, we're only taking trips to L.A. and New York, bro. Okay, but I, I really want to do... Okay, would you do the haunted hotel in Banff? Yeah, I would. I feel like I would. So that's where I headed next. Oh fuck! Yeah, get us, yo, get us to fifteen k again. We'll run that. Banff, fam. Banff, yeah, I'm down. Okay, but Ouija board. <gasps> okay, chill, chill. chill. <laughs> Ouija board is when I cut it off, buddy. The thing is, too, if we do some explorations like that, mm. I want to get cleansed too. Yeah, for sure. Like we, we kind of need. Would you want to be friends with a medium? Like a person who runs like the witch, like a witch? Nah, not like a witch, like a. Like a, I can hear them. Mm. <laughs> it would be cool. It would be cool for like five seconds. Would you date somebody that can see spirits? Oh. That's a great question, fam. And like, I love them. Like, this is my perfect girl. But they see spirits. But they see spirits, bro. And they'll, they'll, they'll tell you. Like, they have no filter. Like, oh, there's, there's a guy Holy right there. Fuck. <laughs> Yo. Holy fuck. Yo, imagine like you're smashing and then she's like, yo, there's someone in the corner. Yo, yeah. <laughs> Yo, on my mental fam, I feel like I would, but I would just have to like, I would have to like deal with the consequences because it's like, at the same time, I could switch that and like, oh, it's a positive thing. How's it a positive thing? Because they can see like, oh, oh this, like it's a gift. This place is bad. Mm. Let's not go there. You know? I see that. I see yeah. that. Because what they say, <laughs> damn, yo, this is what they say. Eh? <laughs> so there's mediums that spoke about what places uh-huh. have the most evil spirits in the world. Yeah. Check this out. Supposedly, evil spirits <laughs> are attracted to nightclubs, concerts. What the fuck? Yeah. And any place with alcohol. Really? So like demonic things? So they gather in dark places because that's the most of the time. If you think about it, most of the time when fights happen. Oh, okay, okay. Most of the time when fights happen. Most of the time when temptation is there. Most of the time when like, you know, Haram things are going down. Yeah, haram. Where is it? Yeah. It's at those those things, bro. Damn. In those places. In those settings. It's like you made that up so I don't go party no more. No, I'm just I'm just saying it yeah, is. Yeah. That's what they say? No, nah, that's crazy. That's what they say, bro. But imagine <laughs> imagine you're, you're you're doing it with your girl and then like 
you, you're doing it from the back, but in the front, she starts making, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. That's crazy. I would leave. I would leave. I would like that pack, like Carlos pack my bag type thing. Like put my, put my bag back up. Put my, yo, that's in scary movie, I think. I oh think yeah? Is, yeah, that's in scary movie. Oh, like, like, the girl got smashed by a ghost. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, that's cheating, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of there. Put my headphones on and my bag. <laughs> <laughs> I will end it there. Oh, Thank yeah. you everyone for watching this episode of the Jumper Jump Podcast. Yes, Make sir. sure to comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Go check out my other channel. Go check out the vlogs I put out. Yes, sir. And uh, make sure to go to Spotify, download all these episodes. Rate the show a five star. We love you guys, man. Thank you so much. And yeah, Jumpers Jump out. Deuces.